Okay, today I'm going to show you how to attach Legos to the bed of your or my cover stitch machine um, with a type of putty to create a quick and easy hem guide for those who either don't like their current one or um, want to try a hem guide and don't want to buy another gadget. Now, um, the reference is always uh, usually to Blue Tack, which is a product available, um, I believe, in the US. I am not in the US. Um, I have this product. It's a type of sticky putty. Um, it, I've taken a, a blob off the sheet. The sheets look like this. I've uh, taken one blob off and I've kneaded it a little bit. Um, it's soft. It's not really sticky. It doesn't stick to your hands. So the first step is to separate it. Um, so I have two little blobs, okay? And I'm going to put down the longer Lego piece. This is a um, two by eight uh, Lego of the flat type, okay? And I'm just gonna put one blob on each end of this Lego piece. Um, you can see they stick, well it's hard to see because of white on white, but they stick up a little bit and um, that's about all you really need, okay? Now I prefer to do um, a so-called one inch or uh, 25 millimeter hem. And I know that this mark on my bed, it's the far left mark of a baby, uh, baby lock cover stitch, uh, is that measurement. And actually from previous uh, um, trials and, and doing hemming, I have a piece of scotch tape on my bed where I also have an additional mark put on with permanent um, marker that's also marking the, um, the one inch or the 25 millimeter uh, line. So I already have a straight line on my bed that I can line this Lego brick up with. Um, so I just line those up and push my Lego brick down and you can see there's a little bit of wiggle on it, but it doesn't move. Now, I have a second flat um, two by four Lego that I'm going to put just on top of it and just push it down. Okay, and this is just to add a little tiny bit of height. And the reason for that is because this this metal portion of my my bed and and around my um, presser foot is higher than my plastic bed okay so there's there's a rise here and um i need to i need to compensate for that with an additional layer and then i take this third lego it's also a two by four and i'm putting it on top and i'm putting it staggered to uh to the first two because i'm going to use this as um something to keep the fabric from creeping up because what I noticed when I was just putting a regular Lego block down was that my fabric was creeping up. I've seen a lot of suggestions to so just stack, you know, take a bigger Lego brick, whatever. I thought this was also a neat idea. So as I said, I um, prefer one inch hems, uh, which is great because this also gives you the distance to that raised middle piece and you don't have any conflicts there. So I've prepared uh, this piece of scrap fabric, uh, nice and bright. To, to show you what it looks like when I put this into my machine. And I'm putting it in the wrong way first so that you can see, hopefully, the edge of the fabric up against the Lego brick. And I have my left needle, which is of course the reference point for your one inch or, or 25 millimeter hem, and the left needle, needle tick on the foot. And you can see that it lines up pretty nicely with my cut edge. And um, if I were to you know, push this through, you can um, see that you get a, a, a pretty accurate hem. So now I'm going to um, do a demonstration with the actual stitching. Uh, so I still have my same pre-prepared piece of fabric. Now putting it in the right way or the uh, right side out or up, push just pushing it gently into my machine. And you see here, there's a, there's a slight gap. 
um, between the fabrics. Now in my first attempt, I just staggered the lower brick and um, I found out that when, when I get to a seam, I was having a conflict and it was it was basically pushing and, 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 and stretching the fabric um, artificially, which I didn't want. So that's why I have this second one in here and I stagger basically the, the third brick. So I'm just put my presser foot down. Now the machine is freshly threaded, so the first couple of stitches might not hold, but uh, we're used to that. And I'm just going to stitch away. And you see that basically, you know, the machine will obviously pull my fabric in. It's not raising up in the back. It's also not um, moving out because I have the guide basically pretty much to the back. And uh, there's really not a whole bunch left for me to do other than to make sure that the fabric just keeps going and um, possibly if I have pins in it um, to keep the hem in place while I'm, before I get to those points, take the pins out before you get to the brick because otherwise they'll also artificially pull your fabric. Okay, so we're at the end and I will take the fabric out just very quickly. Using the usual method to lock the threads. There you see, let me take those guys out of there. You can see my stitch lines, and you can see that um, I did a more or less accurate job of ironing, pre ironing my pre pressing my fabric. So I have my uh, left needle. Uh, right, actually it was just over the edge of the uh, the fabric and here at the bottom, okay, it was uh, slightly on the second layer of fabric and actually that's an effect you see here as well. If you look, if you can see it very close, looking closely, there actually is a slight um, step in the results and that would mean I actually didn't work accurately enough and my bricks were too far to the right for uh, the project that I was working on. So I hope you enjoyed this and I hope it was informative. Um, and uh, maybe if I'm feeling motivated, I'll make another video for you.